Okay, this is the integral battle number 20. The first one, the integral of square root of x over 1 plus x to the third power. And then for the second one, we have the integral of 1 over square root of x minus x squared. What shall we do? Okay, let's focus on this first. And let's make some remark right here. If this was a 1, this integral would be super easy, right? Because that would just give us the inverse sine function. But unfortunately, we really have to deal with this x here. Hmm, can we use partial fraction? No, because we have the square root right here that's bothering us, right? So we cannot do uh, partial fraction, and can we do some u substitution right here? Maybe we can let u is equal to the whole square root, or maybe just the inside, or things like that. I will leave that to you guys. Can we do some tricks up here? Maybe we can use... Um, well, let you guys try that as well. So, here is the secret. This is the integral battle number 20, so of course I have something special for you guys. This is how we are going to do it. This is the same as integral. Even though we cannot do partial fractions, I am still going to factor out the denominator, okay? One on the top over, if I factor out the denominator, you see we will have x times 1 minus x in the square root, right? And let me write this as square root of x times square root of 1 minus x, like this. And then we have the dx right here. And you guys should agree with me, this and that are equivalent, right? And we don't want to worry about the domain too much, but we just want to focus on the integration um, right here. So what good does this do? Well, th this is the hidden secret number two. Instead of this x to the first power, I'm going to look at this as the following. This is the integral 1 over square root of x, and then this is the square root, and this is 1. And instead of the minus x, I will look at this as minus this x as square root of x. And then to the second power, the x. And now what good does this do? Well, I'm going to let u equals to square root of x, okay? And then real quick, let me square both sides before I take the derivative so I can get u squared, which is uh, x, and then I can differentiate both sides now. 2u du will give us dx. And you see, I can take this integral into the u world. This is going to be integral 1 on the top over, this is technically just u, right? Because we have the square root of x right here. So that's u. And then here we have square root of 1 minus this square root of x is still the u as well, minus the u squared. And then for the dx is the 2u du. So let's put that down, 2u du. And now what? You see, this u and that u will cancel. We can put a 2 to the front. And then this is the integral 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared du. As I said earlier, that was not 1, but now this is a 1. And if you focus on this part, the integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared, do we know what the answer of this? Yes, that's just the inverse sign, right? Inverse sign of u. So we have 2 times the inverse sign of u, and then we are done with the integration part. Well, the u is square root of x, so let's just put this back. 2 inverse sine of square root of x, and then we are done, plus c. This is it. Okay, so <laughs> let's see how can we deal with this. Is there any connection? There should be, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't put them in the same integral battle. Well, well, on the top, I have square root of x. On the bottom, I have the 1 plus x to a third power. Partial fraction won't work because we have the square root, right? I want to somehow produce a square root right here, just like this one as well. I'm going to look at this as the integral square root is still the square root over 1 plus. And then for the x to the third power, we're going to look at that as x to the 3 over 2 power, and then square. And this is the x. And you see real quick right here, x to the 3 over 2 power raised to the second power, 2 and 2 will cancel, we will still have x to the third power, right? 
And the purpose for me to do that is because now we can let u equals to x to the 3 over 2 power, and good things will happen. Let's see, u is equal to x to the 3 over 2 power, and let me just differentiate this as how it is. So I will get du equals to bring the power to the front. We have 3 over 2, and then x, and then minus 1 to the power right. 3 half minus 1, we get 1 half. And then we have the dx right here. And you see why I have uh, x to the 3 over 2 power as my u now, right? Because this way, we can get rid of the square root of x on the top. And then you may be wondering, how do we see all this right here? Well, a few things I can tell you. One, this is integral battle number 20, so something special for you guys. And two, um, you just have to force the things to happen. Especially utilize the things that you have in front of you, especially when you have the square root of x on the top right here, right? Try to see if we can force to produce some kind of square root of x as well, which we did right here, okay? And just have to try it a few things and you know just be patient and it took me a while to think about this one how to do that right anyways i want to isolate the dx right here for you guys so right here i'm going to look at this as saying dx is equal to well i multiply the reciprocal on both sides i will have 2 over 3 right and then the x to the one half power will be on the denominator and then we have the du like this and you see this will be the integral on the top we still have the square root of x over one plus this right here is my u square right and then for the dx is this which let me write down as two over three and for x to the one half power once again we multiply by the reciprocal on both sides right so this is in the denominator, and x to the one half power is the same as square root of x. And then we have the u right here, and good things happen, because this and that cancel each other out, right? So let's see if I can fill in everything right here. First, we have 2 over 3 right here. Let's take it on the outside, and this is the integral 1 over 1 plus u squared du, and then this is 2 over 3. Well, this is the inverse tangent u, right? So we are done with the integration part. And in the meantime, because I've run out of space, I'm going to substitute back u is equal to this, right? So 2 over 3, inverse tangent u, but once again, u is that, x to the 3 over 2 power, and we are done. Put plus c, this is it. All right, quick summary. I know for many of you guys will think that these two integrals, they are so tricky, they are so unfair, right? However, I will tell you guys, these are the things that you should see at this one time, so that later on when you're working on some integrals, they may help you out.